What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Scorpios, let's dive in and see what's going on for the next seven days for you all. Hope y'all have an amazing week ahead. Thank you all so much for the likes, shares, and subscribes on the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers as well. I hate off here. There's a little warm in here. And let's see, what's going on with my Scorpios? Why does that... Looks like my phone is lagging. Okay, let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? Maybe I need to clean up my, my phone space. What's going on with Scorpio? Next seven days, please, Spirit. What's happening for Scorpios? Next seven days, please. Sheesh. All right, well, you got two cards already. And Angel Strength. This is you having the courage, confidence, and strength to deal with this here. Some type of strategy is going on. Magician in the mirror. You're manifesting something. All right. In the next seven days. What are you manifesting, Scorpio? Something to do with the throat chakra here, which is the fish chakra. So you could be speaking up for yourself, uh, putting something out there, saying something, not holding back. And then you have the third chakra, which is the solar plexus chakra. It's about your power, confidence, vitality, self-esteem, willpower. So again, just speaking up for yourself, saying what it is that you need to say, getting it off your chest, okay? It is what it is. It is what I say it is here, okay? This could be like, you know, taking up for yourself, saying what needs to be said, speaking your truth. What's the fifth chakra for Scorpio? Next seven days, please, Spirit. Fear, yeah, and guilt. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So, yeah, some of y'all may have a fear of speaking out or speaking up about something, or somebody is trying to cause you fear to not speak up or speak your truth. And then you have the guilt card. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, y'all, I got a cough. If this isn't you, then this is somebody else feeling guilty about not speaking up for you or taking up for you or or saying something. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. It could have been like some illusions around you. Somebody could have, you know, created illusions around you. And somebody might not have spoken up. And they feel guilty about that. Not clearing the air. Yeah, grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate. It. And so somebody could have lost you because of this. Or, um lost an opportunity with you because they didn't speak up or say what they needed to here due to fear. What's the third chakra? What's the third chakra for Scorpio, please, spirit? Whoa. What's the third chakra for Scorpio, please, spirit? Balance is being restored here. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So now this is somebody bringing in balance here. Somebody's gaining the confidence to bring this balance in. You know, somebody um, has like a a new look on life or like a new insight here with this third chakra. It's like they had to gain that confidence here because, yeah, they're realizing they're guilty because they're realizing they missed out on abundance with you or happiness with you. You know, um, this is like, say, somebody wanted more money, more opportunities. They wanted to go for this supervisor position, but they were scared to speak up and say, you know, like, hey, anyone's interested in applying? They were afraid to speak up or they were afraid to recommend you or something like that here. Somebody has guilt about that for not having the courage to go that route. Yeah. They may ask you for forgiveness as well. Yeah. There was some sort of ending or transformation could have been due to a relationship because of this here. But balance is being restored. Humor, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Um... If this person does come in and speak to you, they're going to try to like, you know, <clears throat> maybe they were taking things too seriously and they're realizing like, okay, well, maybe it shouldn't have been that serious. Maybe I should have lightened up or laughed a little or took things a little lighter, you know, or maybe they, maybe they were taking things too light. Like, you know, somebody creating illusions about you and then them laughing about it and thinking like, oh, you know, ha, 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 that is, that is funny. That's hilarious. And, and then, you know, letting people laugh about you about, um, stuff they made up about you and it wasn't true. You know, it could be anything. Let's see. What's the fifth chakra with the fear? Fifth chakra with the fear. Scorpio next seven days. House. Message and mature man. A lover's. <clears throat> 
some of y'all, this person may want to come towards you and talk to you here. Some of y'all, this has to do with work. Could have been what the, a, a, due to a, a love choice that they made. Somebody could have just judged you wrong. You had adjudication, lovers, mature man, and message here. See? Adjudication, lovers, mature man, and message. It's like somebody has matured or somebody has grown here with the house card here. Um... Maybe they weren't stable enough. Yeah, great fortune and marriage card. Maybe they didn't see like stability with you in some sort of way, or they were scared to see stability with you. Something maybe they had a fear of growing and expanding with you in some sort of way or laying a foundation with you here. So they they didn't speak up. Yeah, wealthy man. It's like they didn't speak up. This could be, you know, them wanting to make sure they got their finances together or before speaking to you or before talking to you or moving forward with you here. What's third chakra imbalance? What's third chakra imbalance for Scorpio? Please, spirit? Third chakra in the balance card for Scorpio. Family wrong. Yeah, it's, it has something to do with family. Main male adjudication. She's despair, concern, and thief. And I'm saying it's like they feel like they missed on missed out on an opportunity with you in some sort of way. This person they could have been out of work, lost a job, you know, was going through some type of financial hardship at the time. And with this thief card, they feel like they missed out on a an opportunity with you to either build a family with you, create a family with you, or like come together with you in union or bring some type of balance here. Something to do with the foundation, huh? Mm. What the heck do I want to use? I don't want to use that deck. Let's, let's do mystical madness. I ain't used this one in a while. What's the fish chakra with the fear card for Scorpio? Next seven days. What's the fish chakra with the fear card for Scorpio? Next seven days, please, spirit. <clears throat> Will of Fortune and the Hermit. So, yeah, somebody's coming. Or somebody's in Hermit mode. Page of Swords. There's gossip going on. Or, you know, there could have been, like, gossip. People talking about you. Again, I keep getting that with the Page of Swords. Could be some type of gossip going on in a home environment. Or, like, in some type of... I don't know if somebody lives with somebody. Or somebody depends on somebody else for stability here with the Will of Fortune and the Hermit. Somebody needs to go into hermit mode. They need to go into solitude and, and think. Do some self-reflection on themselves here so that they can release themselves from this fear. See, it's like Four of Cups and Page of Swords. Somebody could have rejected you or not came towards you because of gossip, because of people talking and... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Because of people talking, because it's like delayed, disappointing news. Could have been some news going around. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, the Empress. It's like somebody delayed your wish fulfillment with this Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Empress. Somebody kind of put you on pause. Sorry, y'all. My face is itching. It's weird. You know. Uh, okay. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Empress. It's like somebody didn't nurture you. Some of y'all could have been sick and y'all are healing here with this four of swords, like bed rest type of energy. Why the hermit? <laughs> Why the will of fortune and the hermit? For Scorpio next seven days. Why the will of fortune and the hermit for Scorpio next seven days? Why the will of fortune and the hermit for Scorpio next seven days? Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Yeah, it has to do with a new beginning here. Some some type of choice to start a new beginning or have a new beginning with you here. Somebody didn't speak up. Ten of Cups. And it could have been their wish fulfillment with this Ten of Cups energy. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to invest in this new beginning here. But it's very secretive. Like they're keeping it a secret or they're hiding their emotions here with the High Priestess energy. Somebody may come to you and they may speak about the fear that they have about investing with you here with the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the High Priestess. 
about moving forward with you, laying a foundation with you, but you make them happy. Ten of Cups energy. This is wish fulfillment. King of Wands. This person moves very slow. Knight of Pentacles. So they could be coming in very slowly here, but they're gaining the confidence and the courage to tell you that you are their wish fulfillment. With this fifth chakra and the fear card, they're afraid. It's like they have fear of speaking this, of saying this out loud, out loud here. There could also, with this lover's card, there could, the reason why they want to be secretive, there could be, you know, something that may be, because <clears throat> you got Adam, Adam, Eve, and the snake. So they, there may be something that's blocking y'all or trying to block y'all from coming together. But this person's in hermit mode. They're doing some type of self-reflection with this will of fortune. Maybe that's what they needed to do. They needed to go within and look at themselves so that they can gain this confidence for this new beginning. What's the first chakra with the fear card for sports? The dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping from crazy people, and protected by haters. So some of y'all, this person... They could be afraid to speak up because they feel like they need to dodge the situation right now or they're trying to get out of some type of negativity before they come towards you here. Uh, the broke ass is at the bottom of the deck with the scarcity tactics. Some of this person could be going through some type of financial hardship. Or this could be what people are saying about you, saying that you ain't shit. Yeah, look, ain't shit and lonely. Saying that you ain't shit, you, you're nothing, you don't have nothing to offer, you know. Or these are these ancient ass people, you know, I'm trying not to cuss, but it's on the cards, y'all, I'm sorry. <clears throat> ain't shite people here. They could be just saying like, oh, you, you need to avoid that person. They're negative. They're something, you know, player and jackpot. Oh, gosh, I wanted to pop out. This person could have been a player or is a player or there's a player in the mix here. Maybe this, per again, this person had two choices. So it's like maybe... You, huh. I would be careful because I'm seeing player and then jackpot. But this could be that just you are their wish fulfillment. They see you as wish fulfillment. Maybe they've they've been a player in the past, but they're trying to get themselves on track here. But they're afraid. There's fear here because they don't know how to go about this here. Looking you up, reflecting. They could watch you online or look you up online here. Or with this player card and dodging bullets, they could have a lot of People that they fooled around with, that they're trying to dodge, like they don't want, like if they were a player in the past, right? And then they've went within, they've realized, wow, this is my person. This is who I want to be with. They're trying to come to you secretively because they don't want all these other people coming to you be like, well, I just messed with that person so-and-so or I, da, 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 I don't know. But it's like something, it's, it's kind of like you change the player's heart. Like you, you made this person want to settle down. Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic, and bad karma. See? It's like this person's past is haunting them. Some, some The player energy that they were in in the past is haunting them. It's coming back. That's why Adam, Eve, and the snake is here. Because it's like they want to be with you, but there's a, a snake in between you two. It's uh could be a past person that they played games with or past people that they played games with, you know. Ooh. They may not want to like say that they are with you because they know these people will be looking you up, you know, trying to research you, find out who you are. And then they would try to start some drama and some conflict. They may just want to keep this secretive. Wow. But they want to build with you. But it's like, <clears throat> how do I do this without bringing my dramatic past players ways into this here like I don't, uh, what's this family wrong with the balance card i don't i don't feel like they're playing games with you now like why is the lovers here but they see you as wish fulfillment why is the lovers here the four of cups yeah it's like in order for them to come towards you they have to reject somebody queen of wands at the bottom of the deck so y'all are showing up as a match king and queen of wands but they have to reject somebody. Knight of Cups in order to bring, yeah, look, the start, look, they're ending five of swords. Yeah, they got a lot, like a lot of drama, a lot of conflict that they got to close out here or that needs to be closed out. You got the five of swords, the world card. 
And in these three cards, you got the star, the knight of cups, and the queen of wands. You, some of y'all, this is your, their wish fulfillment. Like they're hoping that they can give you this love offer and come towards you here. They want to come towards you with this love offer. They see you as confident, courageous. You could be an entrepreneur. You could just be very confident within yourself, knowing who you are, what you're about. Some of y'all could be a light worker. You know, Queen of Wands is a, a spiritual being or a spiritual person. Let me say spiritual person. Um, but there's some gossip. Page of Swords, Nine of Wands that they're trying to protect either you from or them from here. Page of Swords, Nine of Wands. And so it, it's like they know that somebody's going to be mad. Ace of Pentacles. But they see... You as somebody stable, as somebody that they can grow and expand with. But with this four of cups here, it's like, see how this person disappointed? And then this person right here, they're trying to offer some. It's like somebody's going to be disappointed because somebody's not going to get the cup. Oh, child. Okay. What's that doing? What's the uh, third chakra with the balance card about for Scorpio? Ooh. What's the third chakra with the balance card for Scorpio? Please, Spirit. For Scorpio, next seven days. Third chakra with the balance card for Scorpio, next seven days. Third chakra with the balance card for Scorpio, next seven days. These cards are so hard to shuffle sometimes. Ten of Wands. Okay, burdens. Coming to an end, though. Eight of Wands. This person could be carrying a lot of burdens on their back here, but they're ready to come towards you, the sun, because you make them happy. Okay. So this person could be very burdened, overwhelmed here, carrying a heavy load, but they want to come towards you here with this eight of wands because you make them happy with the sun card. They see happiness with you, but the three of swords, they may have to break somebody's heart or there could be some type of... Mm, Seven of Wands and Three of Swords. They could be... <clears throat> my voice is trying to go out. Seven of Wands and Three of Swords. They could be trying to defend themselves or defend you or protect you from some type of third-party situation with this Three of Swords. But again, the sun, you make them... They see abundance with you. They see happiness with you. Five of Cups, the Hangman, and the Two of Pentacles. This person regrets juggling you in the past or if they have juggled you they regret it five of cups the hang one and two of pentacles there's regrets here for the way that they've juggled or been indecisive about the situation four of swords because they feel like you could have already like healed or like y'all are on a break y'all could be in some type of separation here but this person feels uh regretful for even like because they're looking at things differently now with the hangman and they're seeing things from a different perspective. And now they're seeing that you're trying to heal and you're trying to rest and recuperate. Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all are like, you're in separation from this person. Now you're single, independent, self-sufficient. Some of y'all could have healed from this already. Oh. Okay. Well, what's the third chakra with the balance card? Third chakra with the balance card for Scorpio, please, Spirit. What's the third chakra for the balance card? Played out. Yeah, too busy winning. See, it's like, it's one of those energies like this person could have caused more burdens on you or caused, um, or they could have been dealing with a lot of burdens. And so it's like they needed to lay some burdens down, let some people go, let certain situations go in order for them to come towards you so that they could have this bliss and this abundance with you. But this person didn't. They kept holding on to something where where they were afraid to speak up. And so it's like they played themselves with this played out card. Like you could have got tired of dealing with this. This person could have kept causing you extra burdens, making you wait. Fake smiles, carless. This person could be, you know, putting on a show, acting like they're happy, but they're not. But they know they can't come towards you here. They want to, but they know they're going to have to like make up. For what they did to you with this ten of wands by causing these extra burdens or make up for these extra burdens that they were carrying 
that they, they would have to kiss your ass. They, they could have, you know, you may feel like this person robbed you of your time, your energy, your emotions, some of y'all, y'all money. Like this person just kind of took from you or took advantage of you in some sort of way. Dang. What's the third chakra with the balance card for Scorpio? They know you're a good person. Look, into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. They know that you're very uplifting, very positive. Um, you have good vibes when they're with you. That's why they want to come towards you here. That's why they want to communicate and see the same shit just a different day. Fake flexing. Wherever they are, they're going through some type of financial loss, bankruptcy. They're having to flex to like, you know, get what they want, make it seem like they're more than what they are. Always partying. This person could drink a lot or they overindulge in third party situations. What's the third chakra? The balance card. Next seven days for Scorpio. And the shine, your light irritates their demons. But they know like, even if they were to come towards you, you would see through the foolery. So they know they can't come towards you with no games, no game plan, no, you know, no third party situations, no manipulation, no karmic friends, no karmic karmic ties they would have to release all of those in order to come towards you here and it's like you could be very intuitive you know if they if they still are attached to this stuff but this person's trying to gain the confidence to come towards you again but it's like this is somebody that's caused a lot of burdens in your life or that carries a lot of burdens in their life here they didn't want to release something here in order to have this new beginning with you mm. okay um, anything else? Any other messages for Scorpio? Society, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. So a lot of y'all will be, you know, socializing, getting to know new people here. Some of y'all could be because of your business. So be careful, you know, who you socialize with when it comes to your jackpot energy. If you're a very financially stable, self-sufficient, nine of pentacles energy, you need to be careful with that. Anything else Scorpio needs to know? Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So y'all do have commitment coming in. Somebody wants to be with you. They want to commit to you. They want to grow with you here. Whether it's in business or like a love interest. They want to, but um, I don't know why this person won't come. I don't know. They, they look like they're coming towards you, though, with the Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Sun. I see movement. I see action. So this could be this person coming towards you, either wanting to work, partner up with you and work with you or be in a relationship with you. We have declutter, but it's like in the reverse. It says, to clutter your life, let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. But it was in reverse here. So this person could be wanting to come back. This is somebody from your past here. And then assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. So that sun card could be the birth of a child. Somebody wanting to impregnate you or have a kid. Or if you're already pregnant. They could be wanting to like, you know, move in or like come together. Like, you know, be a family family. Maybe if you already have children, they want to have that family life together here. But I do see a connection coming in, y'all. And it's going to be completely up to you. We all have free will, so you can pick and choose as you want. You can either pick somebody from the past, where this person's coming back in, or you can you have the opportunity to meet someone new. Okay? Love. Love is in the air. Great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. There you go. Falling in love. All right, then. Well, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.